Agile is good because it, it is for everyone. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to work in tech. Um, it, it's a way of thinking, it's a mindset, and it really does, uh, does sort of, um, it can be adopted by so many different industries and, and everybody just by thinking in a certain way. If you are going to enable the people that you're working with, the people who are making what you're going to use, whatever it is, whether it's a new business way of working or a new, new tool or a new product or a new service or something, you have to get to work together and actually do a constant try, show and tell, try, show and tell, until it gets to be where you want it to be. Agile is not just important, it's actually crucially important at the moment, and not just for businesses, but for all other organizations. If we think about the meaning of the word agile, which means nimble and sprightly and responsive and flexible, the, the, the atmosphere, the context in which business and organizations operate nowadays requires agility in the, the core sense of the word, uh, just in order to survive, to be quite honest. Perception of Agile is that it's become more and more a commodity and, and fashionable tool, so we are more about implementing it rather than understanding why we're doing it, what are the outcomes that it will give us. I think it's a great way of learning because it's, it's a modern way of learning, put it that way. I think sometimes organizations are very um, used to using traditional ways, so I think it's really good for an organization to develop, um, to adapt, you know, to, to adopt the use of agile working techniques. I, the way I approach things is in kind of an agile way, just naturally. So to kind of see that coming into software engineering, which was my area, was really exciting. At the end of the day, we're all humans, and the fundamental heartbeat of agile remains pretty steady around the world. And I think that's really important because when I work with a client in the US, uh, if I do a good job, the next thing they're saying is, what can you do for me in Dublin and in London and in Shanghai and in Bombay? And so having that consistency and that unity of what we do and how we do is so important around the world. I don't think there is uh, necessarily any good or bad agile. I think that the fact that um, we are most effective when we're learning by what doesn't go well um, is really the positive attitude that uh, I think we should all have. When you're looking at agile development, the purpose is probably clearer uh, than in some sort of projects where you're not doing that. And, and purpose is a very strong motivator uh, to get people to work together. It doesn't you know, spontaneously happen. Agile allows you to have a voice and to create more ideas for yourself and to express those ideas as one through stand-up meetings. You feel strong. When, you, when you're in an agile environment, it gives you that empowerment to feel you're capable and you're able, you're seen, you're heard. You've got a voice in agile. I think some of the agile methodologies were the first to talk about that um, multidisciplinary um, element of teams.